Beep, beep, everybody. Hope you're all having a great day. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, this is one of those uh, sort of catch-all videos, sort of like a recap of uh, things I've bought at uh, some antique malls that I did not film from the card swap and uh, a bunch of random stuff I bought from eBay. Uh, the last time I posted a video for this kind of stuff was back on January 19, so this kind of covers everything I've bought since then. Uh, about a month and a half's worth. I probably should do these a little more often so the videos don't go on for so long because I have a feeling this one's going to go on for a while because I have a couple like uh, multi-card lots that I bought from different places and um, they, they take a little bit of time to go through and uh, we'll see if, 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 if it looks like it's going to be too long. Maybe I'll just say, well, I got this lot for this much and just say what's in it without going too too much over but we'll see how it goes um so where should i begin i think i'm gonna start off with uh well let's get um beep beep get get these uh preliminaries out of the way beep beep and um nathan is over here boop 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 and nathan says hi um so this stack of cards I bought from Big Valley Antique Teaks in um, Milroy, Pennsylvania, or Reedsville. Sometimes it's one or the other, but I think I think it's closer to Milroy than it is Reedsville. But it's it, on the 322 exit. It says uh, Milroy. Anyway, um, I will try to film this place the next time I visit there because one of the sellers has expanded their booth into another booth so the display looks a lot different than it did the last time and uh when i was last there my uh, wife has a booth there and we were filling it up and or you know replenishing it with more stuff uh, i went to downstairs and check this out and and it was kind of busy so i decided i didn't want to film it when it was when it's really busy i don't like you know getting people's way filming things so that that time i didn't do it it was kind of strange there were that many people there usually there aren't at that time of day we usually get there when it first opens but let, let's quickly go over what i got there um there's an andres jimenez rookie card from absolute for two bucks uh bowman julio rodriguez for a dollar anytime i see that or a bobby witt jr for a dollar i usually grab them whether i have them or not there's an aaron judge for a dollar uh, Michael Harris the second Bowman Chrome rookie card for two bucks. I'm pretty sure I didn't have that. Let me back this out a little bit. That looks like I'm the, the cards are off frame. A uh, Gunnar Henderson um, rookie of the year favorites from Bowman Chrome that was three bucks. Uh, Adley Rushman Bowman Chrome rookie for three bucks. I didn't have that. We got a Spencer Torkelson on Bowman Chrome for fifty cents. A Royce Lewis rookie card from Bowman Platinum for a dollar. Ronald Acuna Jr. from Bowman Platinum for a dollar. Aaron Judge, dollar. Uh, Manny Machado, uh, Orange Hollow from Donruss for a dollar. Uh, Mike Trout from, uh, I think this is Chronicles. Chronicles Certified 2022 for a dollar. Lots of, lots of dollar and 50 cent ones this time. Uh, Shane McClanahan rookie card from Mosaic for fifty cents. Um, Sandy Koufax, this is also from Mosaic All Time Greats insert that was fifty cents. We got a Jose Altuve also from Mosaic. This is from the insert Field Vision that was fifty cents. Uh, International Men of Mystery that's Miguel Cabrera that, that's also a Mosaic uh, insert set for fifty cents. There's another one for 50 cents. That's Mookie Betts. Uh, I think this insert's called V Tool. I've actually never seen those before. Uh, that's from Mosaic. We have, uh, I forget what year this came out. Looks like 2003 Playoff uh, Portraits. Um, I think that's an Upper Deck product. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> anyway, it was 25 cents for Michael Cudger. We got a 1966 Norm Cash for four bucks in really nice shape. Yeah, I am off frame a bit. Let me get this out here a little bit. Sorry about that. Uh, the checklist from 1968 um, with Orlando Cepeda on it for three bucks. This is completely unmarked in really good shape. We got a Glenn Beckert from the same set for two bucks. 
Uh, Randy Johnson owned the game for a buck from, I don't remember what year that is, 2001. We've got a Mark Grace, uh, uh, one of these silver pack cards uh, for two bucks on the 84 design. Will Clark also for two bucks. Mark McGuire for two bucks. Manny Machado for two bucks. Uh, Pete Alonso, rookie debut from Tops Update, and that was $3. I'm pretty sure I didn't have that. Uh, Framber Valdez gold uh, for a buck. That is numbered out of 2023. Um, baseball star signs Joey Votto for 25 cents from 2019. Allen and Ginter. We got a uh, Matt Chapman. I don't know why I was about to say Ben Chapman, but Matt Chapman from uh, Allen and Ginter tops Chrome for 50 cents. Uh, Stephen Kwan rookie card for 50 cents. Uh, Ted Williams from that, um, what's that called? Spotless Spans. That was 50 cents. And we got another one for Christy Mathewson for 50 cents. A Juan Soto uh, base card tops chrome um, from 2020. I don't think I have this, so I picked that up for a buck. Uh, Francisco Lindor. This is one of those prism parallels from 2022 tops chrome. That was a dollar. Uh, O'Neill Cruz rookie debut, two bucks. I don't think I had that one. That's from 2022 Topps Chrome update. Apologies for losing control of my hands. Uh, Nelson Cruz, this is a purple parallel for a buck. Uh, Gabriel Moreno rookie card, a uh, pink parallel for three bucks. Adrian Beltre, um, Topps Holiday, 50 cents. And a Topps Pristine Yuli Gurriel for a dollar. So mostly uh, 50 cent, 25 cent, dollar, and occasional $3 cards. That was all from Big Valley Antiques. Um, let's do the card swap next, and then we will do um, this random bunch of stuff from eBay. Now let me see if I can... Uh, I have this all down here. Now this... Um, this, the gentleman from Card Swap, sent some extras along uh, with my purchase, and thank you very much for doing so. He sort of does that on a random basis, but I, I'm always pleased with that and very happy uh, that he does that. It's, it's a very kind gesture, and it keeps me coming back to, to buy more. Usually about every month or so, I will go to the Card Swap and check to see what they have, and I usually buy something sometimes it's a smaller purchase sometimes it's a bigger one this is kind of like sort of like an average purchase for me so uh 2022 greatest hits manny machado and that was one i didn't have a tops chrome bryce harper that's one i didn't have for the stars of mlb uh 1966 john kennedy just sort of a random common card from back then and um i forget what these are called that's uh jonathan india um 2023 commemorative team logo patch okay so that's what that is I, I actually haven't seen any of these i don't think i've ever pulled any of them from the 2023 cards i opened up so thank you very much for sending those along now we'll go over the things that uh i bought there i think it was like um if you bought three cards um it was something like 20 or 30 percent off i don't remember the exact percentage Sorry, my papers are sort of like falling off the table to my left here. I'm trying to get I, I get an idea of what's what's going on here with uh, the prices. Uh, they send along a receipt, and so I can read off of it. This is a 2022 Chrome Platinum X Fractor of Reggie Jackson. That was two dollars and forty cents. That is after the um, the percentage taken off. Um, Mookie Betts, this is a green foil ice card from 2023. Uh, that is numbered on the back here, 493 out of 499. I don't know if you can see that. And that was $2.40. Nolan Arenado, uh, Topps Chrome Purple Refractor. Uh, that one is numbered out of 250, I think. Yeah, on the front, 250. Uh, that one was four dollars. We got a Tory Hunter 2022 Chrome Platinum Anniversary Aqua Lava Parallel, and that is numbered out of 299. Yeah, right there. 
That was $3.20. We got some vintage. We got 1972 Rookie Stars featuring Don Baylor and Johnny Oates on there. Rorick Harrison sadly passed away um, last year. He's featured in my video of uh, players that passed away in 2023. Uh, really nice shape, I thought, for this. Uh, let me see. I got this for $2.40. Uh, we got a Charlie Blackman. Um, this is from 2022. Chrome Platinum. This is the Black Toil. T-O-I-L-E. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. And that one is numbered at 3 out of 10. So I really like the lower number ones. That was $7.20 after the percentage taken off. We got a Trey Turner Black Parallel from uh, 2021 Tops. And um, Series 2, I think. And uh, I th think that's numbered. Yeah, 20 out of 70. That one was um, $5.60. Uh, let's do this one next. The Manny Machado is a Heritage Action Variation short print. That was 4 bucks. And I got two Tony Perez Autos from 2022 Chrome Platinum. Uh, the one on the left is the uh, Blue Toil, and the one on the right is the Aqua Parallel. And I thought that was really wonderful. It was nice to get autos from him. And both of these are numbered 99 for one and 150 for the other. So that's what I got at the card swap. I thought that was a really, really great deal on those. I very much love shopping at that place. Move that stuff out of the way. Now we'll go over the random eBay stuff. Uh, I think we're going to finish off with the vintage last. Um, th these are kind of like, like random things. Let me see if I my notes are here. So we're not doing too bad. We're 12 minutes in. Uh, this is uh, Mike Trout from 2021 Chronicles uh, Limited, I think on the front it's you know it just says limited so chronicles limited i think that, i don't see that written down in my notes but i'm pretty sure it was either a dollar a dollar fifty for something like that we got two uh select rookie cards uh from panini luis robert and jordan alvarez they were about a buck fifty each or no i think they were about two bucks each i think this one was about a buck fifty it's a garrett cole andrew mccutcheon from 2013 tops i forget what the ff stands for franchise forerunner sorry uh that was about a buck 50. uh two bobby witt uh rookie cards from donruss optic the one on the left is lime green and the one on the right i think is just a pink one uh this one here was six bucks and this one here was four bucks and uh remember i think i remember going over um there was a antique mall and i don't remember the name it's the red rocker i think and they had they had this there priced at 40 dollars. and so i thought you know i did some ebay comps and the next day i was like you know i should get that you know bobby witt's pretty great player get some rookie cards of him whenever you can especially if you have a good price on them uh this is a uh, mike trout um Tops Holiday short print with the Christmas lights wrapped around him. And I think I got that for about $4. A bunch of purple parallel, purple refractors uh, from Heritage a couple different years. Uh, I think uh, these first few were between like $1.50 and 3 Bryce Harper, Trey Turner, uh, Marcelo Zuna. I don't think any of these are numbered. Uh, Mookie Betts. And Prince Fielder. And I also picked up a Mike Trout one. This one cost me quite a bit more. I think this was about $15 for this. Not sure what they're going for, but that seemed like it was probably a fair price compared to comps that I was looking at. I'm sure some people got it for less than that, but it was a, a nice looking card, so I thought I'd get that. Um, let's go over this one. I bought a, a lot of Rod Carew cards for 6 bucks, and we have a panini cooperstown one of him here uh 74 tops one i do already have a 74 top so i'll just add a, another one to it i don't mind that with rod carew uh kellogg's card i think that's from 1982 uh some more panini cooperstown um 
green and red parallels and I don't think these are well this one is numbered uh, out of 399 ignore the four dollar price guy price tag on the back of the penny sleeve um, but these were part of that six dollar lot so I was real happy with this uh, Rod Carew is one of my favorite players um, SP legendary cuts uh, I don't think that one's numbered we got a flashbacks one from heritage uh, Heritage Collection from uh, Diamond Kings. I don't think that one's numbered. And um, Bat Patrol from Leather and Lumber. And I also bought from this... Oh, oh there's one more. Whoops. <laughs> uh, from Topps Gallery. Pretty nice card. Uh, I bought this one from the same seller for 4 bucks. Uh, 1970 Topps Rod Crew. Mine isn't in the best condition. And when I saw this... Uh, I was just looking for Rod Carew stuff at the time. Uh, the corners are, you know, have a little bit of wear, but it's definitely a lot better shape than my current one. So I thought that would be, that was a nice addition to, to replace that one with. I will probably end up keeping both of them anyway. <laughs> I'm kind of a hoarder, I guess you could say. Um, Tops Platinum. Chrome Platinum stuff. Okay. The, 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 these the 2021 and the 2022 sets are some of my favorite cards from Topps. I really love the way these look. They're uh, harking back to the 1953 design. And I think there's a, one card in here that's from the earlier set that goes back to the 52 design. So no, O'Neill Cruz uh, Prism Refractor Rookie card. Um, let me see what I what I paid for that. Oh, I didn't write that one down. I, 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 think, this, I think that one was for about two bucks. Uh, we'll put these over here. This is the Blue Prism Refractor of the O'Neill Cruz Rookie card. That is not um, numbered, and it looks like I paid a little over $4 for that. I got uh, three different Steve Carlton cards. <laughs> and these two look very similar, but uh, this one here is a Red Atomic, and that one is numbered out of 100 And what did I get? The, uh, what did I pay for that? It looks like 7 50 and this one is the pink atomic and that's also numbered out of 100 and i think i got the pink one for six bucks but you know this nice red color with his phillies uniform i thought was really really cool when i saw these online i was like yeah that's a pretty decent looking card so that's what got caught my attention and i did buy another one of him uh this is the orange uh, maybe toil i'm not sure if it's the toil one or not but it's an orange parallel and that one is numbered out of just 25 22 out of 25 and that one cost me 10 bucks so i was happy about that juan marichal um i don't remember what this is called blue sparkle or something like that this was a buck 25 that's numbered out of 199 kind of focused on numbered cards anthony rendon i think this is the blue toil one and that one i got for 99 cents and that was numbered out of 199 uh liam Hendricks, another one of the blue sparkle ones uh i think that i got that one for a dollar 95 and that's numbered out of 199 and uh gaylord perry uh i think that's the blue toil one for him that was 99 cents and that's numbered out of 199 anytime i see numbered cards for Great players, um, you know, and they're selling them for $0.99 cents or $1.25. It's like that's a no-brainer no for me, uh, especially since I like those kinds of cards, you know. So um, maybe, maybe, I don't know, who knows. Anyway, got a Gary Matthews Auto. This is from the 2021 Topps Chrome Platinum set, um, and I thought that was pretty cool. Um, that one is numbered out of 199 I was a big fan of Gary Matthews when he joined the Phillies in the 80s. Um, he didn't play very long for them, but he did have a pretty decent career, I think, with the Braves and Cubs and a few other teams. I think the Giants was another team he played for. Uh, doesn't say on the back, doesn't give us stats, but that that was pretty cool. Got that for 10 bucks. I thought that was a great addition. Uh, these two stacks. Now, these are going to take some time, so I'm wondering if I should bother with it. Uh, I got all these for $50, um, and what they are are... They were having a 40% off sale if you bought 40 or more cards, and so I did. And 
most of the, I think most of these are numbered. Uh, I'm not going to go over too much detail or try looking them up, but this is a Jose Bautista numbered out of 299 on Top's Finest. We have a Panini Jose Abreu. Not sure what this one's called, but it's uh, numbered out of 99. And I mean, basically, I, I paid about, I think about a dollar each uh, on average for these. A uh, Kevin Euclid's Purple Parallel. That one's numbered down here at $4.99. Uh, Troy Tulowitzki numbered out of 99 from Topps Gallery, a green parallel. Jose Abreu also from the green parallel for um, another Topps Gallery. That's numbered out of 250. A uh, Charlie Blackman numbered out of 250 Purple Parallel of Bowman. Uh, Jimmy Rollins um, Elite 199. Tim Anderson numbered out of 250. Uh, Gallery Private Issue, I guess, is the name of that. Dallas Keuchel uh, numbered out of 150. That's Bowman's Best. Um, another Bautista numbered at 199. That's a that looks like what is that? A Bowman's Best. It's from 2014. Uh, Paul Molitor of uh, Sheer Dominance, SP Authentic. That's numbered out of 2000. Uh, Eric Hosmer, Diamond Kings Optic. That's numbered out of uh, 50. Um, Jose Altuve, Superstar Sensations. Uh, that's some sort of parallel, 299. Uh, Miguel Tejada, Donra Studio, 2004. That one's numbered out of 100. Uh, Jimmy Rollins, uh, Chrome Heritage. That one's numbered out of 9.99. Uh, Kyle Seeger, Green uh, Tops Gallery, numbered out of 2.50. Jose Reyes, uh, numbered out of 199 from Panini Elite. Uh, Cliff Lee, Orange Tops Chrome. Uh, that one doesn't. That one's not numbered. Oh crap! <laughs> Oops, brains. Uh, Andrew Benintendi, uh, Donruss Optic. This is numbered out of 99. Uh, Madison Bumgarner, Press Proof from Diamond Kings. That's numbered out of 99. Uh, Matt Carpenter, numbered out of 250, Tops Gallery. Uh, Houston Street, numbered out of 1799. That's an upper deck card. Another Tops Gallery, Jim Palmer, numbered out of 250. Uh, Matt Chapman, this is uh, Advanced Stats, numbered out of 150 from 2019 tops. Um, Studio Portraits, that's Michael Young. That one is numbered out of 40. And this second bunch. Yeah, I think we are definitely going to make the 30-minute mark here. <laughs> I'll move these over here. Uh, this is also from that same set. This is Mark Teixeira. That one is numbered out of... 60 and Carl Crawford from the same set and that is numbered out of 35 uh SP authentic Vladimir Guerrero uh numbered out of 2003 I guess that's a red parallel uh Tim Hudson from Donruss Studio 2003 that one is numbered out of 100 um, another Donruss fan club fantasy team, uh, Roger Clemens. That one's numbered out of 4,000. Uh, Frank Robinson, SP Authentic. That one's numbered out of 199 here. Uh, Gaylord Perry from Panini Cooperstown. That one is numbered 3 out of 99. Um, Jake Peavy, some sort of camo parallel from... Uh, 2014 tops. That one's numbered out of 99. Ryan Howard numbered out of 199 from Panini Elite. You Darvish, um, green parallel from Bowman Chrome. That one's numbered out of 99. Uh, Chris Davis numbered out of 250 on Bowman's Best. Jose Ramirez, um, I forget what this is called. This this one's numbered out of 49. Uh, Panini the National. Uh, Wilson Contreras, uh, Top's Finest, numbered out of 150. Must be a blue parallel. Another green border parallel from Top's Gallery, John Carlos Stanton, numbered out of 250. 
Uh, Josh Donaldson numbered out of 250. Andrew Benintendi on one of these um, tops. Um, what is this called? High tech or something like that. This one's numbered out of 99. Uh, Troy Tulowitzki from, what is this, Triple Threads, I think. Yeah, that's numbered out of 50. And Nolan Arenado, um, numbered out of 269. I'm not sure what this one is. Panini Gold Standard. I don't have anything from Panini Gold Standard. So, yeah, that big stack of cards uh, I got for 50 bucks. Uh, I think it's close to 50 cards. I didn't count them. But... About a dollar or so each. Um, miscuts. <laughs> I, I try to buy them every now and then. We got this Jack Morris from Fleer Star Stickers. Uh, you can see the the, <laughs> the nice cut on that one. Uh, that's from, geez, I'm not sure what year that came out. Early 80s. <laughs> I should have wrote that one down. We got a 91 Fleer. <laughs> Bill Long. Really egregious cut there. Uh, the more egregious, the more I'm <laughs> excited to get it. <laughs> These, uh, no no issues on the front. But on the back, they've got a, a pretty pretty wild miscut. In fact, the wrong player, Bob Stanley for John Tudor. Uh, Shane Mack has Franklin Stubbs on the back. Oh, here Shane Mack is up here. And Greg Minton... Jeff Kunkel's on the back of his, and Ron Guidry has Frank LaCourt on the back of his with a piece of Guidry up there. Those were all about, I think, between a dollar and a dollar fifty each. Um, let's start doing some vintage. Got this stack of 1975 Topps cards for 12 bucks. Uh, mostly semi stars. There's some commons in here. We got Davey Johnson, uh, Chuck Taylor, Ken Henderson, Davey Lopes. Jim Lomborg, uh, John Mayberry, Mike Hegan, Mike Cosgrove, Earl Williams, Rich Folkers, Wayne Garrett, Larry Hardy, Elliot Maddox, Dick Lange, uh, Joe Ferguson, Mickey Stanley, uh, Bob Reynolds, Cliff Johnson, Jim Walford, uh, <laughs> nicknamed Skeletor on the Past is Alive channel. I've watched that video too. Ken Holtzman, Pedro Garcia, Jim Rooker, Jim Todd, Amos Otis, and Dennis Blair. Um, so I they fill in some holes. I'm not really trying to complete the set, but there were some star players in there that I do um, uh, PC. Uh, there, I bought a second 75 lot, and I bought this mostly... To get my hands off this t on this top card, which I did not have. This is a Keith Hernandez rookie card. I bought this lot for $20, and I thought that was a pretty decent deal. The, the Hernandez card looks pretty, pretty nice. I think there's one little bit of corner wear down there, but the rest of the corners look really sharp, and it's centered really nice. You know, a little bit off, but still pretty nice for a 75 card. Uh, we got a Steve Carlton. That's one I didn't have. The home run leaders, Dick Allen, Mike Schmidt. I didn't have that. I think I have a Rich Gossage. We've got a mini thrown in of Frank Robinson and Bob Clemente. I don't have very many minis. And then there's some common cards. Jack Heideman, Mike Lum. Well, Nate Colbert, I wouldn't consider him a common. Juan Benequez. Lindy M McDaniel, I wouldn't consider him a common either. Terry Hughes. Claude L. Washington. I think this might be his rookie card. Uh, Ollie Brown. And uh, runs batted in leaders, Jeff Burroughs and Johnny Bench. You see the, the weird angle that's on. Uh, so, let's see. Singles. Whoops. Get these together here. All right. Now, this bunch came as a... a, a, a there was like some sale on eBay for all of these. And uh, they ranged in price from $0.59 cents to $2.88. I forget how much I had off, but if you bought over a certain number of cards, you got this uh, percentage off. And I don't remember what that is. I'm thinking it was like something like 30 or 40%. And any anytime I see sales like that and the conditions are pretty good, I, I usually grab them. So we got a bunch of 19, you know, vintage stuff. There's like 1970 Ron Hansen. Uh, Al Dark from 69. 
Zoilo Versalis from 69, Jim Wynn from 68, Felix Milan from 67, Lou Burdett from 67, Dick McAuliffe from 64, Roy McMillan, Al Lopez. I think that was the one that, that cost $2.88. Uh, Steve Rogers from 77, Clarence Gaston, Ralph Garr, uh, Bill Singer from 76 Tops Traded, uh, Jeff Burroughs from the 76 set, McCarver from 75, um, most valuable player, Vita Blue, Joe Torrey from 75, a minor league card of Greg Minton. I think that one was, um, two something. That's a, that's a really early card for him too. That's from 1975. Uh, Daryl Evans in action from 72, Ron Bryant from 70, and the rest of these are cards from 77, Bill Singer, Burt Hooten, Rick Burleson, and Greg Gross, one of my favorite players. So I was happy with that one. And a couple more vintage cards. Uh, these first four, or I think, let me see, I'm trying to find them. I think they were about $1.50 each. Tommy Harper from 66 tops, Luis Aparicio from 72, Dave Justy from 64, and Roy McMillan from 65. I also got myself a nice Al Oliver Rich Hebner rookie card, and let me see, what did I pay for that? Looks like eight bucks for that. Um, and that, that's a little high, but the condition, I think was well worth it so i'm happy about it i wanted a really nice condition one of this because i was a big fan of al oliver back in the 80s when he was playing and it's a shame he never got his 3000th hit it sounded like the owners were were um colluding to keep certain players from playing because there were a number of players that wanted to play longer but for whatever reason never got signed once they went to become a free agent they were all in their late 30s into their 40s i think rod carew may have been another player that um, prematurely retired and uh, Carlton Fisk Cecil Cooper rookie card from 1972 um, this one I got for 10 bucks which I thought was amazing deal and I'm not sure why it was priced so low um, I think it's because it's sort of off center and I think one of the cuts is not level with one of the other cuts I think they're off by just a little bit and I'll take this out so you can see this a little more closely. Oh, there's there's a little surface crease here. I think that's the reason why it was marked down to 10 bucks. But you can barely see that. There's just a little, little surface one there. It doesn't go through the card. And as I understand it, um, I think there are probably ways to get rid of that. But I'm not going to attempt that on, on this old card. I, I understand people sometimes soak cards. Uh, and I, I sort of like, uh, I don't know if I want to do that. I, the, the idea of adding water to paper to me is a little, ooh, it's, it, it's almost like, boy, you could really mess this up. Um, but otherwise, a uh, little bit of corner wear on the lower left and lower right, but the top ones look pretty sharp. The back of the card looks really clean. So I was happy for 10 bucks. And if it was just because of this tiny little surface crease there, which isn't too bad. I was happy about that. So very excited to get that. Uh, it's a card I've always wanted to get. I wouldn't call it a Holy Grail card, but it ranks up there. It's it's pretty close. I'm trying to get a number of the 1970s rookies when I can. Uh, I don't know when <laughs> when I'm going to complete this project. I, the other day I was looking for a Dwight Evans rookie card, and I just didn't see any in the condition and the price I was hoping for. Um, the best condition ones were priced uh at beckett retail or higher um and i think the ones that are priced higher are just off the rockers either the beckett catalog is low on that price or you know the folks at ebay are getting carried away <laughs> or the uh, not the folks that that work at ebay but the sellers that sell on ebay but i haven't seen any, the, the few i've seen out in the wild the condition of hasn't come close to this one and that goes the case for most of the 70s rookie cards when i see them out in the wild i just don't like the condition they're in they're they're pretty worn and this and they tend to want more for them and i understand rookie cards tend to be in in demand even you know you know from the 70s and stuff uh, except for maybe a few players
Anyway, that's basically all crap I bought between January 20 and what is today's date? Um, let's see, one, two, three, four. I guess today's March 5. Um, yeah, so I'll try to do another one of these in hopefully less than a month and a half so that the video doesn't go on for so long. I, I knew this was going to take about a half hour and we are past the half hour mark. So I'll bid you adieu. I hope you all have a wonderful day for the rest of your day. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to, to watch this channel. Um, take care, everyone. Beep, beep.